Hello, this is the headlining news across the East African region from Kenya. The Central Bank of Kenya slapped fines amounting to several billion dollars on commercial banks that handled money embezzled from the country's National Youth Service. The bank's fines include big names like Standard Chartered, KCB and Equity. This is part of President Uhuru Kenyatta's ongoing drive against corruption. News from Tanzania authorities in Kahama District, Shinyanga region of Tanzania, have suspended gold mining activities following the death of a miner killed by a collapsing mine in Tuesday night. Two other miners were injured in the accident, undergoing treatment, and the mining will remain suspended until investigations into the safety of miners are concluded. News from Uganda. Uganda's parliament is waiting for the preliminary government report in the assassination of celebrated crime buster, Assistant Superintendent of Police Mohamed Chirumira. Interior State Minister Obiga Kanya promised on Monday that a report would be issued within two days. Chirumira, a heroic figure who fought criminals both in the public and in the police force itself, was shot dead in his car on Saturday night. From Burundi, Burundi's ambassador in Geneva, Reno Vatabu, has failed to convince the United Nations Human Rights Council why the government of PR and Kurunziza threw out the council's team that had gone to investigate human rights abuses in the country. Reuters news agency reports that the council has blamed the escalation of human rights abuses on hate speech by officials who include the president himself. Finally, from Rwanda, the Rwanda government has warned the public that whoever deals with World Venture Travel Group does so at their own risk. World Ventures Company awards members with travel and holiday discounts.